we enjoy soccer and we like to have fun. And I think I think our girls could attest to that Steve has done a great job in like creating that culture and done a great job with the program. Welcome back here on Sandy Bay Media for another episode. My name is Jared and I'm your host. I'm joined by the team over at Concordia University, St. Paul, and we're going to have a chat to them as we'll be following them throughout the year. Welcome, everyone. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Well, let's get a quick introduction of names, who we've got starting up for you, Steve. Yeah, I'm Steve Bellis. I'm the head soccer coach here. Uh, this is my 11th year at Concordia. And uh, yeah, we're excited to tell you a little bit more about our school and our program. Um, I'm Katie Anderson. Uh, I'm a junior here at Concordia and I'm originally from San Diego, California. I'm Mackenzie Lavier. I'm a third year here as well. And I'm from Sussex, Wisconsin. I'm Sydney. I am the graduate assistant here at Concordia and I'm getting my master's uh, in sports management. Fantastic. Well, we're just going to start off with what it's like to be a player and um, yeah, what it's like to play for the college. Who would like to kick us off? I got it. I mean, um, so I like playing here at Concordia because it's really, um, it's a lot of hard work. Uh, We have practices and lifting every single day. A lot of times it's two times a day. And we start off with a really hard Mm preseason. With um, We're probably outside five hours every single day and lots of um, work with the team. And so we're bonding constantly. And so I think that was one of the main things that brought me to this program because it's very... um, it's run very professionally, which I love. And uh, we put in a lot of work together, which is really nice. Fantastic. Yeah. And I really enjoy um, playing here because Steve makes soccer so enjoyable to play. I remember like a couple of times in the fall, I was like running on the field, whatever. And I was just like smiling. I was like, well, I'm actually having like a really good time playing this right now. Um, and so obviously it's really nice to like love the sport and continue to love it because I know it's not the case for everyone. But that's one of the main reasons why I enjoy being here so much. Yeah, that's an absolute great reason. And um, Sydney and Stephen, what is it like to coach at the college? Um, I can go. Um, so like I was saying, it's is my 11th season here. Uh, generally, you don't stick around that long if you, if you don't enjoy it. Um, the program uh, was in a kind of a different shape when I arrived. It wasn't as uh, it wasn't as successful, basically, and, and it wasn't as professionally run. So my goal in the first few years was to kind of change that and bring in how I thought a college program should be run. Mm-hmm. And we're an NCAA Division II program, so that allows us to train year-round, practice year-round, and play year-round. Mm-hmm. Um, that wasn't the case when I got here. So immediately we, we changed the schedule and, um, that was a bit of a culture shift and a culture change. Um, but over the last few years, it's just been accepted as the norm. And we, we max out on all our NCAA division two hours that we're allowed to train and practice. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that's important and that's, that's helped us get success, not only on the field, but also off the field and attract Uh, a different kind of player, a different kind of person and attract, you know, some great personalities like these two guys um, that over the last few years has allowed us to be pretty successful. Fantastic. And Sydney? Yeah. um, So this is my second year here. And I would say from a coaching perspective, one thing that I like specifically learned is there's enjoyment in the game within college soccer. And I think that's what you get out of Concordia because I've been a part of other programs that it's more of a business, but here it's more of a, it's still a business, but it has like a good balance and we enjoy soccer and we like to have fun. And I think, I think our girls could attest to that Steve has done a great job in like creating that culture and done a great job with the program. No, that's nah. awesome to hear that. Yeah, no, just all around. Um, it sounds like it's an amazing environment, not just to play, but just to be at. Well, let's go back to the plays. Um, one of the other things we wanted to look at 
uh, lifestyle outside of playing. Katie? Um, yeah, so uh, Concordia is located in like a really big city, the Twin Cities here. And mm-hmm. so um, life at Concordia is actually um, not, like, not all just soccer, which is nice because there's lots of stuff to do, um, like, I don't know, movies, um, academics, definitely. That's a big part of our lives here um, because we're a student first and then an athlete. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, so I really like the location of the school because there's just so much to do. And obviously there's other people on campus. And so we have friends and um, it's just like a good location. Um, It's also pretty safe um, where we're located, which is good. Oh, that's great to hear that. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. that was really nice because we have a pretty small campus size. So it's like, you know everybody that you see in the hallways and everybody in your classes mm-hmm. and life like outside of soccer it's mainly a lot soccer but then also so much studying so that's kind of where we split it up and then also a big social life so it's like I mean they're practicing classes studying and then hanging out with some friends and so it's really nice like Katie said being in like such a larger area but there's so many houses around so like I have a house with like a couple other teammates and then we live like three minutes away so it's always like really nice coming here there from school so it's easy that's great it's got that um very much a community feel and community vibe to it yeah and sydney for yourself being someone who's studying a master's and coaching how's that like um it's honestly comparable to when i was playing it's just a different role that i play now instead of actually physically playing i get to watch and help the team play so Mm -hmm. it's really similar um as far as lifestyle goes, I would say in getting my master's in coaching. Fantastic. And Steve, just wanted to have a look at, um, you mentioned that, um, sorry, you mentioned that the, you know, sorry, you mentioned that you the college maxes out the hours that you're allowed to train with players and things like that. Can you give us a bit more insight into the program and what you're doing with them? Sure. Um, so we have three very distinct seasons. The fall season is obviously our, is our main season. So we'll come in at the beginning of August. So August 6th this year. So a little bit earlier than normal. Um, so we're here ahead of the regular students. Um, so the campus is quiet, which is nice. Um, the fall sports will be here. Um, so we get to we get to train pretty much solid for about three weeks before school starts this year. Um, we'll get in a few friendly games, scrimmages they're called here in the States. So we'll play a few friendlies against other colleges. Um, and then really, as we get closer to September, then our season really starts. The fall is pretty intense in terms of the hours and the expectations. So we'll do six days a week. NCAA mandates that we give the team one day off a week. And usually that's a Monday because we play on Friday evenings or Friday afternoons and then Sundays. So um, home games are nice. So we'll play Friday night under the lights. We've got a got a great stadium here and a good setup. So we'll play a game on a Friday night. And then the Sunday games are at one o'clock on Sunday afternoon. So our fall season um, will run probably – fingers crossed if we make the NCAA tournament to the beginning of December. Um, we're in a conference that is that is pretty spread out. So we'll go to three or four other different states. So we go to Iowa, South Dakota, North Dakota, uh, Nebraska. Uh, most of our trips are not too bad. Um, and the conference is made up of uh, bigger public schools. We're a small private school. Mm-hmm. It's made up of the bigger public schools in Minnesota. So most of the trips are two to three, four hours away, uh, which is nice. I don't particularly like being on a bus for, for much longer than that. We don't fly to games because we're not that far away. Um, yeah, that's our fall season. And like I say, fingers crossed we make the NCAA tournament um, and that'll take us through to the beginning of December. Um, if we were lucky enough to, to make the NCAA national championship, that would take us just a little bit longer than that, so... So that's the fall season. And then uh, we give our players a couple of weeks break just to refresh mentally and physically. And then we start with our winter program. 
Okay. Our winter program is four, um, four hours um, of soccer a week. So it's a lot lighter than what they've been doing in the fall. Mm -hmm. But this is the time frame where we get in the weight room. So this yeah. is the time frame where the kids become faster, stronger. Uh, we have a strength and conditioning coach who works specifically on soccer stuff. Yep. Um, so these guys do speed and agility stuff, core work, obviously a very um, tailored lift that is, is going to help them become better soccer players. So that's our winter season. And then it snows like crazy here in Minnesota. I don't know if your audience knows that, but... Um, so we have an inflatable bubble, it's called a dome, that covers our AstroTurf field. So our turf field is covered completely yeah. with a big big old dome, you know? Yeah, right. And that allows us to play inside. So uh, our spring season, so we get a spring season that gives us um, six games in the spring, uh, and we'll do that inside. So our spring season allows us to go back to training six days a week, and we get six games where we can play other division two teams we can play division one teams we can mm -hmm. play local club teams it's very much developmental in the spring yep. in that there's no stand-ins obviously winning's important we want to win everything that we do but uh the spring isn't as intense in in that way um and that takes us up to like the beginning of may and that's when the kids will be doing the finals and the focus will be on academics and and basically, we'll we'll send them home for the summer, and they'll they'll go back to where they're from in the summer, and uh, they've got a, a workout that they do, and they'll play soccer with the local club teams. And if kids live in St. Paul or the surrounding area, they can come on campus and lift here as well. So, like I say, three different seasons. Um, they're all they're all very different and specific for mm -hmm. what we want from our program. Yep. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of a the life as a concordia university soccer player for a year now that sounds like um, an amazing lifestyle and yeah and we're very keen to follow it throughout the year and seeing each of those stages that you just mentioned and seeing how it plays out and speaking with players so we're really excited to be following all of you and the rest of the team well, well thank you for <laughs> sorry brilliant love it well, look, thank you for joining us and having a bit of a quick chat with us and giving us a bit of insight into Concordia, Concordia University, St. Paul. And like I said, we're really excited to be following it throughout the course of this year. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.